listening to Chrome Lake, a Slavic folk metal band from Ukraine, is not only a regular experience to know another band else of this metal style, their melodies are truly mesmerizing and emotive. We found out powerful and dark bridge and also a special word performance of rollings and clean voices. This is a brilliant first production and for this reason we can tag them for this interview. Please guys tell us how Calm Lake began and who our current lineup. Hi everybody, my name is Anatoly Zinevich. Greetings from Ukraine from pagan folk metal band Kromlev. Nice to be here with you. The band began to form in a year 2004 when our vocalist and guitarist Metro, along with his mates, uh, started to play synth for black metal with folk influences. In the year 2007-2008, uh, uh, the band's lineup was completed. At the same time, the band got its current name and changed its style. Uh, currently, the band consists of uh, Dmitro Bibikov as singer and guitarist, uh, Valentina Tsarenko on female vocals, Kirill Shaparalenko plays on bass guitar and also acts as a backing vocal. Uh, Anatoly Zinevich, me, has a uh, lead guitar, Maxim Kusko on keyboards and Dmitro Sechov at the drum kit. What is the reason do you have picked the name Kromlech? Kromlech is a house of worship built in big stones or mason work on the burial mound. We chose this name more than 10 years ago when yet didn't know anything about other bands with the same name. Basically, the name should be written in Cyrillic script, but we also transliterate it into Latin. Do you belong to the common Ukrainian double belief called the Vobria, or all of you belong to the modern Slavic religion called Rinobiria? We are inspired by religious faiths of our forefathers, uh, but at the same time, we don't belong to any of Ukrainian neo-pagan uh, communities. Uh, our philosophy is much more complicated than something these communities put forward. What members of the band contribute with musical compositions and lyrics? Almost all music is composed by our guitarist Nitro. Other band members take part in arranging songs. Uh, as for the lyrics, uh, they are generally written over already completed musical compositions. Uh, they have different authors, but at the moment mainly uh, all texts are created by our female singer Valentina. Tell us about your most recent EP, The Time of Eternal Winter. When the songs were composed, who was the producer? What people make mixing and mastering? And how it was your experience of recording together during your first production? Time for Eternal Winter mini album was considered to be as a sort of a small demo. Both songs were uh, composed in years 2012-2013 and they are supposed to be included also to our forthcoming full-length album. Recording was done by ourselves and most parts were recorded at home. As for mixing and mastering, these were conducted by our good mate Sergei Kaldrov, who is also playing in uh, progressive metal band Logical Riddle. Until now, what shows have been most significant for you as band? Up till now we mostly played uh, in stages of our homeland. Uh, also once we had a gig in neighboring Belarus. Uh, as the most important shows we can emphasize uh, thematic folk metal festivals in Kiev, Kharkiv, Chernitsi, Homel and Chernihiv. When will be released a new Promlet production? We consider to start recording session of long-awaited full-length album at the end of summer. Uh, this is planned to be a conceptual album, uh, which will tell about life and death of 
and single such a man who lived in the Middle Ages, along also with relevant historical events. Uh, we worked on creating this material for the last 10 years. Besides that, we also have some new material in queue, uh, waiting for its time. What is your gig's agenda for this year? Uh, at the moment we are focused on forthcoming recording and therefore have no big plans for live shows until it's uh, done. Please mention your six top metal albums that you acknowledge as musical influences. For Dmitro Bibikov, uh, this is Nocturnal Morton Necrist. For our bass guitar player, Kirill, uh, this is a self-titled uh, album of Ansiferum. Uh, our female singer, Valentina, is inspired uh, by Dark Funeral, Diabolus in Terry. Our drummer, uh, uh, said that for him it is more potential gateway to annihilation. As for the keyboard player Maxine, um, this is Svarga, symbol of will. And uh, as for me, I am a fan of uh, more melodic music, uh, mainly heavy power metal. Uh, but uh, I can say that one of my favorites is uh, Gamma Ray Land of the Free. Some final words for our metal older albums. As already mentioned, for the end of this year we plan to release our long-awaited album. So stay tuned for our news and also be true and listen to metal. Now we will introduce the song The Time of Eternal Winter. We appreciate and we thanks to Kronleck for this interview with Metal Hunger. Thank <laughs> you.